Hi everybody, I wanted to just uh, show you something I've been working on. It's a custom hubs client where we can run a top level server and inject code without having to touch too much of the um, standard hubs client. So we've got a hubs cloud running here. I just want to go into a test scene. It's going to load up just to show that we're running off our cloud because we don't have the custom client loaded up yet, but we can run it locally. That uh, This is the same scene. I'm going to run in a second, and if we type some commands, nothing happens in this client. So what I've got is I've taken and modified the Mozilla Hubs Cloud branch from Hubs, and you can go and um, check out this URL to see the differences in the commit. But I've also got a um, custom Hubs repository, custom Hubs components, where I've got a bunch of components that I've gone and created for um, slideshows and this reflective ball. Uh, but it also has the modifications to Hub. So if you have your own Hub's client, you can take and just drag the source right here. This Hub.js is the one that I'm modifying. And it also has a top an example of a top-level server and how that works. And all of it's documented right here in the repository. So if we go... I've got my uh, custom client running, and I've got my top-level server running locally on a different port. So now if we go back here and we run in localhost 8080, and then I'm hitting a specific URL because I'm targeting these code modifications to the actual hub ID, it'll load. And when I come in, to the hub, I can type add slides, and I get a slideshow using the standard media component. And we can also type in add ball. I get this reflected cube map. You can see that there's a little bit of an issue with the rotation, but um, camera maps updating. Anyway, that's the, the modifications. We have a custom client that's set up to run um, functions, and you can see where it's injecting them into the code through the inspector. We basically got a bunch of extra scripts that are getting hosted from GitHub and posted here. So, uh, like I said, it's documented the whole thing, how to do it, in uh, this repository right there.